Hi, this is David Durkee, and I'm here to show you how quickly you can make a comic with the new Comic Strip Factory beta. Um, this is the the appearance of the comic of the document window you get when you create a new comic, and it's basically just asking you for some parameters uh, for the comic. In this case, uh, it's set up currently for a one-panel comic. Um, but I've got a story idea that was uh, inspired by a Facebook post from a friend of mine for a three-panel comic. Uh, so I'm going to make that wider. I'm going to go with 800 pixels wide and keep the same height. Notice uh, in the background behind the, the dialogue here, it's actually showing me what I'm going to get when I, uh, when I use these settings. Uh, 10 pixel gutters is still fine. One row is still fine, but I'm going to go to three panels in that row. Now you can see we've got three panels. And uh, I kind of like the hand-drawn shape, so I'm going to do the, oops, picked the wrong one, the hand-drawn shape, there it is, uh, which gets you a slightly irregular panel edge that, that I like. And we're going to go with the standard weight and click OK. And now we've got, uh, we've, we're set up for that, that basic uh, three-panel layout that's uh, familiar from daily comic strip, strips quite a bit. Um, now, the story idea I have takes place at the customer service desk uh, in Cal at Caltrain. And uh, so for that, I think we need a, like a wall with a window in it that your customer service representative can be behind. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this up so I can see more of my space here. And in this first panel, I'm going to create a new part. And it's going to use the comic color set. And... Uh, See if I reduce my view scale down to 200, I can see what the edges of my panel are. I'm going to go down a little further to 150 so I can see what the edges of my panel are. And I'm just going to create a real simple uh, setting for this comic. Uh, I'm going to have a wall here. And uh, this will mark out the floor. Um, and then I think I'm just going to use a square here. Send that to the back, uh, and an, a line from there to there to indicate the corner of the wall. And uh, let's take this object and give it a color. And uh, it's going to be a wall color inside a bureaucracy. I picture that as being kind of drab colored, uh, and we'll call that uh, wall. And so we've created that color. And then we're going to select the floor and do the same thing. We're going to give it a floor color. Uh, nothing too imaginative because this is a bureau bureaucratic environment. Uh, it's going to be kind of a brown. Nice brown floor. And I'm naming the colors in case later I want to go back and say, well, I want my wall to be green. I can just redefine the name of the color named wall and instead of having to edit all the individual objects that used it. So now I've got my floor color and my wall color. Now I need a window in this wall, a customer service window that, that my customer service rep can be looking through. And I gotta remember to leave space up at the top of the comic for the dialogue balloons. So I'm gonna start the window here and have it go down to about here. And uh, maybe uh, shore it up a bit, you know, improve that shape a little bit. Okay, that's nice. And now for this to be a proper window, it needs to be a hole in the wall. And we have a command that makes holes in shapes. And uh, it's called merge into compound path. And there it is. So I select it. And now uh, what you see back here is you're actually seeing through this path now. There's a hole in it. Um, think of that as the, the donut making tool. So now we've made our customer service window in the first panel. And we're going to use that same setting in all three panels. So I'm going to hold down the Option key and just drag it from one panel to the next. Correct location. And drag it into the next panel. And there, we're, now we've got the same location shown in our three panels. Uh, now I want to bring in the characters. Uh, so I'll start with the customer service rep. And uh, for that, I'm going to use the root wiz. Inexplicably, our customer service rep is uh, dressed as a wizard. Who knows? <laughs> he, he just likes to dress that way. Anyhow, he's going to start out all, you know, all kind of fairly friendly looking. And, um, 
I'm going to scale everybody down when I bring them in here. Now for him to be in that window, he needs to be behind the wall unit. So I'm just going to um, use the menu item, send to back, to send him back there. Now he's inside the window. And uh, he's going to be talking to, uh, to the customer, who we'll bring in next. And I've uh, cheated a little bit ahead of time. I, uh, I copied the text that I'm going to use for this. Um, so I'm just going to now paste it in. And uh, you know, it, the way I pasted it actually brought in the font from the other document. And I, I want it to be one of my comic fonts. So I'm going to bring up my comic font or my font menu. And the comic fonts that I've got installed are all here up at the top. And I'm going to use uh, mm, Lint McCree. This is a built-in font that comes with the program. It's from a company called Blambot that makes really wonderful comic fonts. And I'm going to center that. And, uh, and I think I might want to, uh, in best comic style, I think I might want to boldface some stuff in here. And, uh, so in order to verify your identity, can you tell me the name of your best friend? Okay, so that's kind of how he talks. Um, so now we're going to resize the balloon so that it, uh, you know, everything fits nicely. And... I might go in and bump the point size down a little bit because we're tight on space here. And then I can make it a little narrower. And uh, this balloon pointer I can move around by grabbing it from its base. And I can also uh, make it curved by adding a control point in the middle of it and then dragging the, the end point. And I can drag all these points separately to make it curved and make it aim at the right place. Um, so now I'm going to bring in my uh, hero of the story. His name is Sam Ho. And uh, he's, uh, he's going to be looking kind of friendly, too, in the first panel uh, before uh, the bureaucratic frustration is set in. And, uh, okay, so the, uh, the customer service guy has just asked him to tell him the name of his best friend. And I'm going to create a new balloon for him. And he's going to say... Uh, my best friend, it's David. Um, this is actually what what uh, my friend posted on Facebook. Uh, it's not David because that's my name. Um, and there we go. We're off and running. We've got our first panel uh, set up the situation, and uh, and now we need our second panel. So in the second panel. Uh, we're going to begin the, uh, the conflict of the, uh, of the story and, uh, we're going to give, uh, we're going to bring in a, a, uh, slightly less happy looking bureaucrat picture here and, uh, send it behind the wall. And, uh, this time he's going to be saying, hmm, that's not it. And we're going to bold face. Well, actually, yeah, I've got to uh, turn the bold face off because it picked that up from the previous uh, panel. And there we go. That's not it. And make space for the uh, the other character's balloon. And. Uh, you know what, for, for this second panel, I'm going to start with the same pose that we used in the first panel. Um, but just to make it more interesting, I'm going to ungroup that and uh, delete his head and look at the other heads that are available so that we get a, you know, a slightly changed expression uh, for the second panel. Um, as he explains to the customer service rep. What the situation? Whoops, his head's too big because I've been scaling everything down, so I'll just scale it down to match. Uh, I, I just command clicked him, and that uh, allowed me to select all of the parts in this panel that are Sam Ho parts, so I can group them back up again easily. And, uh, and then we're going to have him saying, uh, um, um, well, it's David now. I had a falling out with my previous best friend. That was Andrew. Um, and 
and we're going to need more space for him to say that, so we're going to let it overlap the other balloon. And uh, we'll have the balloon pointer coming at him from, from the back. There. And uh, we're also going to go in there and boldface some words for, for visual interest. You know, and I might make these decisions differently next time, I don't know, but that's kind of what I, uh, what I had in mind. Uh, and then in the third panel, um, we get the twist, got to have a twist. So uh, we've got another uh, similar pose to that previous one, but the uh, customer service rep is now looking up. Um, and remember, we're going to send him to the back to put him behind the wall. And he's going to be speaking, as usual. Um, and I'm going to paste in... Uh, paste in what he has to say. Uh, he got the question wrong. He now says, oh wait, that's not the right question. What's your mother's maiden name? Uh, maybe that's a more typical uh, typical thing for a, a security question. And uh, let's go ahead and make that bold. And make that Okay, that's good. And, uh, and now we're going to pull up a different Sam Ho pose. Um, as he delivers the punchline. Um, and I'm going to close this out so that we can see the whole thing and scale it down as we have with the previous ones. And um, create the new balloon paste in the text that I previously copied. Um, and uh, and we have him delivering his punchline. And that was all it took. Uh, I've been working on it for 13 minutes, not bad, uh, for a full three-panel comic with uh, six text balloons in it and two characters with different facial expressions in each panel. Um, that's it. That's Comic Strip Factory uh, Beta 2.